Thunder E here, and yes, we are taking a look at a budget device. This is the Blue R2 Plus. Now, the R2 Plus is from Blue Products, and this is the successor to the R1 Plus that came out last year. Part of the R1 or the R family, where they had the R1 HD, which is a great device. This device promises a lot of great features at a bang for the buck pricing. So first off, I can tell you the price, it's 179, but for a short period, it would be 129 for this device. And what does that include? What do you get with all that? So you've got a headphone jack, uh, micro USB in the front, but the build is really nice. Nice, solid build. Uh, it's 5.5 inches in total. You've got your volume and power buttons all on the right hand side of the device. Uh, and the, the speaker is actually at the back, which is quite interesting. Now, also at the back, you've got a fingerprint sensor, which is very responsive, uh, as well as also a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash in the rear of this device, promising to give us better images. And uh, I will say that uh, the images are quite delightful. Now, the front of the device has a 13 megapixel camera as well with LED flash, so your selfies should be much better with this. Now, the display is 5.5 inches. Uh, it's a full HD display. Uh, it's really vibrant, really responsive. And in terms of software, you're running Android 7.0. In terms of bloatware, not much. You do have Android app, I'm sorry, um, Amazon apps and as well as Oprah, but that, uh, that's about it. But the flow and function on this device is pretty nice. I think a lot of people will like that. Um, you also have a 3000 milliamp battery built in, 32 gigabytes of storage, and of course, three gigs of RAM. Now the camera app here is okay. Um, I wish they actually had a better camera app or at least um, use maybe Google camera APK or something. But that being said, the camera does produce some nice images. There's a slight little orange tint to some of the images, but I will say the camera does a good job for a budget smartphone. This is a $129 device right now. So I am quite impressed that I can take some really solid photos. And I like, I like the progress that Blue has been pushing to their lower end devices. This is the front facing camera. You can see me there walking out. It was cold. It was really cold when I took this. This is also indoors. I actually didn't use the flash here. And even some of the low light photography is actually pretty good. You can actually see the drink there quite well. Now, one of the, some of the things I don't like is the fact that it's using micro USB. Now, in 2018, I was hoping you would switch to USB Type C. It's a bit annoying. And also, it uses full size SIMs. Now, I get it, that is still available, but a lot of people use nano SIMs. I think overall, this is a solid device. Like I mentioned, uh, it packs in a lot. You know, you've got micro SD expansion, 3 gigs of RAM, 3000 milliamp battery, which should give you some really good battery life. I have to say, though, that is something that this device does well. And again, you're running Android 7.0 with very few uh, Bluetooth applications, actually. Uh, built in. So if you are looking to pick this up, use the link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.